You know, when you need extra space, taking advantage of the underutilized space you have in an attic might be a way to maybe add another room. That's what I did here with this guest room. It's actually up in the attic and you come up these stairs and I wanted to make it feel like a farmhouse. So all the materials here, and the layout of the room itself, those that you might've found in a farmhouse about 1900. When you come up here, you can tell that this is an attic space. Some of the telltale signs include, well, just the shape of the roof or the ceiling. You see, it actually follows the roof. So what we did is we moved in from the edges of the roof to make this wall and the same on this side. And then from the seven foot mark up to here is nine feet. And then we flattened it off. So at the highest point, it's nine feet, seven feet on the sides. And what I used for material up here is old fashioned beadboard, but it's really not beadboard. It's actually four by eight sheets of pressed beadboard, just to give the look. I wanted to save a little money. So take a look at the floors. You see, these are tongue and groove pine floors. We didn't use first grade pine, meaning the very best grade of pine. This is a second grade pine. It was less expensive. But what I decided to do up here was paint it. I didn't want to stain it or do some sort of hardwood finish. I wanted it just to be painted because it feels like this room. I want it to be really comfortable and easy and relaxed. The colors be really cool. That's why I chose this soft green and on the walls, a really soft blue. So let's take a look at the layout of the furniture. You see, again, comfort is key here. I wanted to make sure that not only there was a comfortable bed, but also a baby crib in case guests might bring an infant. Also, I wanted a place for them just to kick back and relax. It's up in the attic, they're away from all the hubbub of the house, so there are a couple of swivel chairs for rocking the baby or just relaxing, and a really nice sofa that's slip covered with some bright colors that really pop. There's enough space in this 15 by 17 room to accommodate this full-size bed. And if you have enough room in the attic, you might think about adding a bathroom. And there was just enough in this nook up here for me to put a bathroom in. Only enough room to put in a shower just in line with the valley of the roof. But hey, it worked. I have to say, this is a room I had a lot of fun in designing. Just take a look at the lights. They're star-shaped. They look really old-fashioned but they're made by circle lighting and readily available. And then the floor itself, well, I've got a woven cotton rug made by Albert and Dash, which I love the colors, pink and white. This is the same pattern that you find on the stair hall coming up into this space. And as for the art, I went with drawings that children have made and framed them and put them all along the walls. To lighten the room up, I chose to use all painted furniture, which I think really works. For instance, this one over in the corner, it was a chest of drawers that was made in the 1830s. The veneer was so bad and the price of it was so right because I bought that for 50 bucks and had it painted. And I think the color looks great in here. Hey, if you're enjoying these tips on style, check in with us regularly. And make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. So excited you all were coming. Oh, and you're bringing the baby. All right, well, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Thank goodness I have plenty of room.